Okay, we're going to install Alpine with Nginx to host that Western Iowa Tech HVAC website. I'm using QEMU, you're probably using VirtualBox or VMware. Um, and I'm using the Alpine Extended ISO. And this is my virtual hard drive. And this is just my network stuff. So I have a E1000 Intel network card and I just made up a random Mac. So let's start that. So you get the ISO Linux screen, and it's going to auto boot. And while this is running, I'm not going to do anything there. I just need to add my uh, tap interface to the bridge. You do not need to worry about this. Um, show. It's tap zero. It says it's down. Uh, IP link set tap zero. Master BR zero. That's my bridge. And then bring the tap interface up. Alright. Okay, login is root. Set up Alpine. Bring that up a bit. Keyboard, just press enter. Enter. At the zero. DHCP, yes. And we got a lease. 172.16.1.119. Okay. I'm going to set a password. Press enter for UTC. Press enter. Press. You can press space to uh, just skip down to the bottom there. And so these are our repos that we can choose. But we are going to choose this F there. Detect and add fastest mirror. So press F and then enter. And it's going to go and see which mirror is the quickest and then use that one. Might take a minute. While that's running, we can go and check out uh, tap zero and see what's going on. So TCP dump dash interface tap zero. And it's probably HTTP um, port 80. And there's our machine going out and testing these mirrors. Anyway, let this run. It'll find the quickest. Set up a user? No. Just going to run as root. Open SSH, yes. And then right here, allow root SSH login. Yes. You need to manually type in yes and then press enter. Enter SSH key. No. Just press enter. So here's our disks. I made a 1 gigabyte SDA disk or QEMU virtual hard disk. So SDA and then choose sys. Erase disks and continue. Yes. Okay, look like it worked. I'm going to shut this down, so HALT-N. Okay, that's about as far as it's going to get. So I'm going to manually kill this off just by closing it. And then my QEMU instance should be dead. Okay. So this is what I had running. I'm going to take that CD-ROM out of the boot. So let's just boot right off the hard drive, and it should work. Oh, so what's going on here? Is this trying to get a DHCP lease? But with QEMU, I need to manually add that tap interface back up. Uh, so I need to step out here for a sec. So you see tap zero, it's back to down. I just need to re-add that. IP link set tap zero master BR zero, and then IP link set tap zero up. Okay, so we should be bridged, and if we do another DHCP lease, we should be gold. So root, 
IP adder show. And we already have a DHCP lease, so let's try to ping the internet. Looks good. So clear that up, and let's do a APK search nginx. All right, let's do an APK install nginx. That is not the right command. APK add nginx. And I'm going to install APK add uh, vim and strace. Just that's just for me. That's uh, not necessary. So I believe it's rc service or just the service command status nginx. Okay, that's the wrong syntax, so it's service nginx status. It stopped. Service nginx start. And then do a status, make sure it started. Okay. And then we can do a netstat dash tuna p and then grep for 80. Make sure something's listening on 80. And it looks like it is. Good. You can see the nginx.conf uh, PID 2190 uh, at the top of the bottom there. So clear the screen. And then the way to find the configuration file for nginx, what we can first do is just do a which nginx. So that is the path of the binary. Or we can do a PS Fox and grep for nginx. And look at that, user sbin nginx c, which stands for the configuration file, is etsy nginx nginx.conf. So we need to find, first what we can do is open up a web browser and go to that uh, 172.16.1.119, I think. Okay, so we get a 404 not found immediately. So we can do an nginx dash capital T and then we can pipe that into less and this nginx dash capital T dumps the configuration so we can maybe see where that 404 is coming from so I see this include etsy nginx confidant d star dot conf so I wonder what's in there. So vim or vi etsy nginx so there is no conf.d okay so maybe it's in httpd.d and there's a default.conf let's see what that says okay right there there's our location root return 404 that is probably our issue. Okay, so I'm going to, we don't want to return a 404, we just want a location slash. And with nginx, uh, let's make our root var ww. Got to end it with a semicolon. And let's get rid of that and see if it restarts. So save that service nginx restart and do a netstat make sure it's running netstat tuna p grep for 80 okay and let's see what returns now forbidden okay so it's different than the 404 so I'm gonna open up a terminal and that archive dot zip I have in on my host machine so I believe it's called archive.zip unzip-l. Let's just see what's in it. Okay, index.html and hvac.jpg. I'm going to scp that up to that server. So scp archive.zip up to 172.16.1.119. And I'm going to put it in the dev shim just for temporary storage. Yes. Nice. 
So we're back on the Alpine machine, ls-lh dev shim, make sure it's there. Very good. And it has unzip already on it. So I'm going to cd in the dev shim where that archive is. And I'm going to unzip it. There the two files are. All right. Do ls-lh hvac and index.html. So I'm going to do cp-v hvac and the index. I'm going to put those in the var www. And there it is. Okay. Looks like they're in there. Let's see if it loads. And there she goes. Okay. Now this could have been simplified. Yeah, if, with the unzip command you can specify a directory. But I usually just move things in the dev shim. Uh, unpack it. And then move it to, to where it needs to go. So that is it really. Um, just two files. Um, the var www directory already existed. I just had to specify it in the nginx configuration file. Um, that that's my root. But if you just Google, uh, I mean, just uh, nginx define root. There we go. How do I change the root path? Look at this guy did the same thing as I did. But anyway, the root tells Nginx where to look for any files for this server block. And we're just running a default server, no vhosts. Um, so we just set a root to wherever you want. And I, a typical location is var www, or uh, sometimes it's in a user's home directory. It just can't be in like slash root because that's readable only by root. You don't want to do anything like that. But var www is a good location to start. So hopefully that helps. Uh, but yes, this is what the website should look like. And uh, that's it for that.